Hey, what is up guys? Today we're doing something a little bit different called Instagram vs Reality, which is a new segment on the channel that I'll be introducing and we're just going to be looking at different photos on Instagram and I'm going to be exposing or we're going to just be learning together how they were edited into what you see and what you actually get in reality. Now I'd like to put out the disclaimer that I'm not actually targeting anyone and I'm not trying to injure their brand but I do want to point out that there are there are a lot of differences between what you see on Instagram and I think most of us should be aware at least to some degree how they're done and how you shouldn't actually believe everything you see on Instagram. So right off the bat there isn't any uh, photo manipulation I'd like to point out per se. She's not trying to um, use the transform tool to make herself look better in any way, but she, um, the Instagrammer in this case, has actually used a lookup table, which is what increases the vibrancy of the colors. From the, if you compare the left and the right, the greens are darker, sharper, the oranges are far more dominant, they're more salient, and for that reason the picture just looks better. But the main point of this photo is just to point out, Instagrammers are jerks. To her credit though, I am very, very jealous as she got that shot. And uh, they've actually had to close the park down because so many Instagrammers tried recreating that and they've just made that huge mess that you can see on the right, so I guess that's why they call them an influencer. So this is actually a really good example in illustrating when you've gone too far in Photoshop. So the way you get this effect is through the liquify tool and for those of you that don't know the liquify tool is a destructive tool meaning it saves on top of itself as you work along and you oftentimes lose sight of the original picture and you get carried away. It's very easy to get carried away. So to me the biggest giveaway is obviously the hips do look a bit unnatural. They're way too linear. There's in, in the human body there is no such thing as a straight line. And for that reason I would be a bit suspicious. I would also investigate by looking further into the clouds because when you do use the liquify tool, it's like you it's like a big porridge and you're just stirring the porridge around and as you move pixels around you move the pixels uh, adjacent to it as well and for that reason you do get a lot of tearing in the background which is why you get those like wavy lines and everything that's a big giveaway and not to mention that the hips are way too symmetrical generally humans don't have that kind of symmetry so if you do want to edit like this, and I understand why you might want to, there is a proper way of going about it, where the, in the liquify tool there's a slight, uh, there's a little slider, and essentially if you bring it back down to 80%, it undoes 20% of your last editing, if, if you think of it that way, and basically it just brings you back to the realm of normalcy. So you want to keep your changes slight. This is way too dramatic, and that's why it's so obvious to see. Did anybody for a second actually think that she looks like the left picture in real life? So right off the bat, I can tell that the hair has definitely been uh, reworked. There's no flyaways, no strands, no loose edges. It's completely straight, like Y equals MX plus B, straight. Also, pay attention to the nose where the dorsal hump has been reduced a bit to make it more aquiline, which is a fancy way of saying make it more uh, smaller and curvier. And then from then on, we can just see that the whole skin has been retouched. Nobody glows like that in real life. And with that, we can also tell that the eyebrows, the eyes have also been edited. Uh, notice the eye color. It's definitely, when you take a photo, your eye color does not pop like that. It's always, almost always edited in post-processing. And I say this because if you look at her eye, look at the light reflecting off it, the part nearest to the tear duct generally doesn't reflect light like that. It's way too vibrant. And lastly, do I even need to talk about the lips? I mean, come on, liquify tool. Also, uh, one thing I just did notice is that her jaw, especially her chin, is a lot more protruded in the left image than the right. Uh, that could just be the angle, but I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if you also use the liquify tool there, because that is one of the common uses of the liquify tool. I really like this image because it's just so random to me. It's like, who are you posing to? Why are you posing like that? Where are the coconuts coming from? Anyway, I wouldn't say that either of these photos are edited in any way, really, other than a light color gradient, which may or may not. Even then, that's a bit, that's a bit of a stretch because these pictures are quite plain in terms of color and vibrancy. But um, 
it is a simple case of just sucking in your tummy. Guys do it, girls do it. I don't want to body shame anyone, but it is just what it is. So here's a photo that kind of speaks for itself. This, the context behind this is that an Instagram star turned to YouTube and started making videos there. And eventually the real, I guess, I suppose how she actually looks came out. In terms of editing, I wouldn't really say that the bottom picture is edited. If you look at the snow, it's a bit off-white, which is kind of how cameras pick up snow. The top photo might have been edited in terms of color. It's a bit hard to tell. It's definitely been edited in terms of composition and facial structure using the liquify tool. And you can tell just by looking at the lower third region of both, both the pictures. And there has been a bit of a change in the buccal region of her face. So I really hope that you enjoyed covering these things with me today. We went over some of these simple aspects of the liquify tool and in the future I'll be releasing guides on how to properly use these tools so that we don't make the same mistake that these guys have made here. If you've enjoyed this type of video and you want to see more episodes 2 to 3 and 4 then leave a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more.